Hey everybody, Mr. Morrell here, and we're going to talk about averages. Now, so far in the last two homework assignments, we've been working at um, modeling data to summarize it with a picture or a graph. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to model data using like a single number. And depending on what the data is doing and what it looks like, we're going to get different numbers. And so there are different kinds of averages or different ways to describe what's normal for your data that you've collected. So there's three different kinds of averages that are often talked about. There's the mean, median, and mode. And um, you guys are used to that. So let's start with these level one questions. If I ask you to find the mean, the first step is that you would need to add all of the numbers together and then you would divide oops that looks like a plus you would divide the sum you would divide the numbers that you've added by how many I'm not gonna write that out by how many numbers there are so if you wanted to find the mean that's what most people are used to you add all of the numbers together and divide by how many there are all together the median mean to do that you would put the numbers in order in order and then you would need to find the middle sometimes the middle is going to be a specific number sometimes it's going to be between two numbers and if that were the case so like if there are two middle numbers then you would need to find the mean of those two numbers in other words, you would add those two numbers together and divide by two. Um, the mode, well, to find the mode, it's really easy. You just look for the most common number. All right. Now, let's kind of go through these. Um, how much do I want to go through these? I don't know. There's not much to go through, really. All right, we'll go through four, five, and six, and I'll probably call that good. So the mean, if you want to find the mean of these numbers here, the scores of some students that I had play one game of Flappy Words, you would need to add all of the numbers together. So I'm going to pause my recording of the video to add those numbers together. One second. Okay, so when I added all of those numbers together, I got 80. And I'm really hoping you double-check that, because it's easy to make a mistake. And then we need to count the numbers. So we got 80 when we added them all together. And then we're going to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 80 divided by 20. And that should equal 4. So the mean of that data is 4. All right. To find the median, we need to find the middle number. So let me erase these dots so that I can read dot some stuff here. I'll write the 4 over here. All right, we want to find the middle number, so boop, 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 boop. Go like this a couple times. I'm wearing my glasses right now, so I feel a little cross-eyed. Hopefully I do this correctly. Okay, so the median is between these two middle numbers, and the number in between 2 and 2 would just be the number 2. And the mode for these numbers, the most common number, I think, is 1. <laughs> Oh my gosh, excuse me, I just hiccuped. So the mode is 1. Let's see here. Okay, so, level 3. Now, these, I haven't been uh, able to update them because I'm too lazy. But, these are scores from the 2013 Utah State football games. Maybe next year I'll update them. We'll see. Um... Anyway, on the top you're going to see the USU score, and on the bottom you're going to see the opponent's score. So for question 13, you need to find the mean, median, and mode of USU's scores. Then you're going to need to find the mean, median, and mode for the opponent's scores. And remember, I've got this big box here. Um, just as a reminder that you need to um, put them... Put numbers in order, so I have that space there for you to put things in order that you need to. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, anyway, okay, that is what I have to say about that. Good luck, and make good choices. Wow, this video is quick. 
Well, that's because this stuff is easy. You've been doing this for years. Okay, bye!